this is the weather they want. I will now brief you on how the test with the landing equipment will be made. The aircraft intercepts the glide path at this point. The glide path slopes at a three degree angle down to one mile where the angle decreases and the flying speed is reduced. With the glide... The measuring equipment will be ready. The Draken is the latest aircraft in the Royal Swedish Air Force, and it's different. It can fly in all weather, in rain, fog, cloud, night and day. Draken is the modern definition and the modern answer to the problem all-weather fighter. Saab has built the Draken, and the Air Force Test Center is now carrying out tactical test flying of this aircraft. There will be no other flying during this test flight. Briefing concluded. There will be no engine test this afternoon. Can anyone take a test with a pressure suit? I can. The pressure suit is a necessity to the fighter pilot. Without it, he cannot stand great altitude or acceleration. A modern aircraft makes great demands on a pilot's physical condition. The pilot must be equipped to meet these demands. The best flight surgeons are continually researching for ways and means to meet these great physical demands. The pilots are tested not once, but many times. Pressure, acceleration and blood circulation tests to find the maximum physical limits which must never be exceeded. Draken 1-3 is coming into land. Clear to land. Test center radio listening. Distance 10 miles, gear down. An all-weather fighter means flight operations in all weather. But to reach that performance, there must first be many difficult tests. Tests which must prove the ability of the Draken. A parachute, as everybody knows, is used to save lives, but it also helps technicians to reduce braking distances. Are you satisfied now? No, this instrument is not so good. It should be moved. Test pilots do not only test maneuverability. The instruments are the aircraft's mechanical brain, and to save time, the test center uses other types, specifically the Lanson and the flying barrel. The Draken's instruments are installed in the Lanson for air tests. Lanson 93, you can begin now. The radar is the Draken's eye. It leads the pilot to the target. The flying battle acts as the target, while in the Lanson, the attacking pilot works with the instruments of the Draken. Next phase, the Draken is nearing completion. The armament is tuned to the sighting equipment, the pilot's electronic brain. The intention is to reach the target, make the attack and disappear. There is no room for mistakes. Contact. Good echo. The strobe's okay. Steady. Radar locking. Picture good. Damn, I lost him. Break. No, there he is again. Wait. Here you are. Thank you. Here we have it. Yes, there it is. Here we have 20 seconds. I know what it is now. No, wait a second. Here it is. Let's have a look. Uh, we'd better ask Saab about that. Draken to 
one start. Two, five. Draken two one, target okay. Here Draken two one, high altitude run with rockets firing. Janet George. The Draken is versatile and built for high altitude operations. Acceleration, rate and angle of climb are three important factors in air defense. In vertical speeds greater than the horizontal speeds of 15 years ago, the modern fighter zooms towards its target. Air defense today is built not only on the flying squadrons. From radar stations on the ground, the pilot receives instructions vectoring him into a position where his own radar takes over and completes the mission. Radar control, Draken 2-1, course south. Draken 2-1, seabird contact, steer 160. Target due south. Distance now a hundred miles. Draken two one accelerating. Zooming. One seven five er, forty six above. Zooming, he said, towards new altitudes closer to the edges of space, so close that we can see the curvature of the Earth. Contact. This time, the radar sight works. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Draken 17 starts. 17 Roger.